What is up guys, Coop here, and today we're going to be playing Teon. Uh, so basically this is a hardcore MMO RPG. Uh, it's actually on the mobile, which is kind of interesting, and I saw this game and I thought, this looked rather interesting. It has a variety of different aspects to it that are kind of interesting to me, and overall I really wanted to jump in and see kind of what is about this game. So I've went ahead and created a character, but I'll show you real quick the character creation because it's very nice and elaborate. It uses the D&D sort of stats here. You have Constitution, Strength, Wisdom, Intelligence, Dexterity, and Charisma. And you have a variety of different classes here and genders for each of them. So the first one you have is the Royal. They inheriting honor and courage from their noble lineage and they are born clan leaders and warriors. They can equip most weapons and armor. So, pretty cool class all together. And what's really cool though is you can actually customize the stats here. So let's keep jumping in. We got the Knight. Symbol of the people's will, the loyal and courageous almighty knights are sworn to defeat all evil and defend the innocent. Next you have the mage, so for you spellcasters out there. Uh, they basically are, you know, your typical mage it looks like. Uh, they have mastered all the, they have mastered the ancient knowledge of magic and allowing them to strike down enemies with their deadly spells. So that's kind of cool. Not my type of character though. And then you have Elf, which I found kind of interesting because it's like a race, but it looks like Elves are kind of proficient in their own way. So uh, Elves uh, strive to return peace and freedom to all lands. They are trained to be balanced uh, warriors and are able to use different types of weapons and spells. So it looks like these are kind of like your presets. Uh, they have, you know, male and female for each of the classes here, which is very cool. I kind of like that. Uh, we're probably... We could, let's see. Hmm. I think we're going to probably go with a uh, actual knight here. And we'll manually do our stats here. Uh, so as you can see here, we have stats that we can actually put in places. So uh, for the royal, I was able to put a lot more stats into it. But for the knight, I got to put a few less stats. But I'm actually kind of okay with that. So let's actually dive in real quick to look at the stats here. We've got constitution, which uh, basically determines how much life we have and how much we will get as we level and health regen so how quickly we will regain that so that's very important keep in mind the health regen uh let's see the next one we got here is strength which affects our combat damage and our ability to carry items so god knows i like having a lot of stuff in my bag so this is going to be very helpful for me especially going forward um Next we've got Wisdom, uh, basically it affects their innate magical resistance, so this affects how much damage we'll take from magic, and also how many magical points we'll have, uh, basically each level. Intelligence determines how powerful our spells are for spell power, so that's very important as well. And Charisma <laughs> affects how many dogs can be tamed, or tamed mobs we can have at one time. It is also important for princes. That's a stat I really like to dive into a little bit more. I always like charisma and I always like the animal handling skill in games like D&D, so it's a very interesting game already. Let's put a point in that. Uh, put a few points into there. Put a point in constitution. Put another point in that because I want to tame some dogs. And our name will be Valcor. Actually, it'll be Val. There we go. Valcor. Let's jump right in. I have no clue how this is going to go. Alright, so basically it's just talking about a little bit of the around the world and if we want to do the tutorial. So if you've played this game before and you don't want to do the tutorial, I always like having this in game so we can just skip the tutorial and not have to deal with it. But we're going to do the tutorial because this is my first day playing. So uh, this is some general lore. Uh, I'm just going to have you guys kind of read over that. You guys can pause the video for that, but I I really don't want to spend too much time reading it. I figure I want to show you guys a little bit more of the actual gameplay. So, it's pretty interesting lore though altogether. I very much enjoy when a game has a little bit of backstory rather than just throwing you into a game. So, find Gary. Uh, he's in the Lost Forest. And what's really cool is it has coordinates, so it's kind of like an old school sort of like grid based system, which I very much enjoy, uh, in the Lost Forest, and has been researching the changes to some of the creatures. Head northeast to find them. The locations are presented using cardinal. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to go northeast, so we need to go that direction. Awesome. 
Um, we'll skip that tutorial and we'll actually see about going northeast. So we're walking around. So the UI already is pretty good, especially for a mobile game. You got your health and everything up here. You got, it looks like, we'll kind of figure out what these symbols are right now. I mean, it's just like my first day playing. We got a compass, very helpful, especially when trying to figure out what direction we're trying to go here. And then, let's see, that's sort of, it looks like that's like a target. So we're just gonna keep on moving to the Northeast here. See if we can't get into some combat here. So that's scary. So it looks like we found him. Welcome, don't be shy. Uh, let me take a look at you. So we've received some of our armor here. Uh, tap the uh, main menu button, tap bag, and then tap armor. Okay. So let's actually view this video real quick. So, okay, so you tap the top right and then you click on bag. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Alright, uh, your weapon is strong enough to deal with some of the weakened werewolves. Uh, it's time to teach you how to use it. Travel to the north to slay some werewolves. Alright, so we're going to be getting into combat. Um, it looks, and then they also have really helpful tutorials. That's, I already like that enough right there. Especially as a, like, a new person, like sometimes mobile games can be really crazy, especially when it's an MMO RPG like this. So it looks like we can just tap our spells. So it looks like we tap to select what we're attacking, and then we can use our attack button to kind of focus on that. That's kind of cool. Okay, so first things first, let's, we need to equip all of our gear here. Can't take this off. Okay, so use, use. Oh, okay, so it looks like um, when it has that symbol on the top, it means that it's equipped. So we actually have all this items equipped right now. So on my character, I have all that. So in your bags, make sure that you understand that like if it has a symbol in the corner, that means that we are equipping it. So that's good. Okay. So we need to travel to the north to go slay some werewolves. So let us go out there. So where are the werewolves? Oh, there they are. Okay, so we're gonna go attack them. All right, so. And we'll jump over here. I do like that. Uh, it's got auto pathing, so you just click on them and they kind of come over. So. Let's see. Oh, it has auto attack too. Okay, so we just basically click it and then the, our character kind of does the rest. And it looks like we have auto looting as well. Uh, we're just going to kill a few more here. Okay, so we've completed our quest here. So, and let's go figure out where to turn this quest in. I think Gary was up here. So it looks like it's the same as like World of Warcraft, where it has like a sort of explanation point or a um, question mark depending on where you're at in the quest. Okay. I don't need time to study these more. Uh, there's something I'm concerned about. Felix, go towards the north. Head east and go straight along the path. Okay. So, east. So, we're just going to follow that. Uh, we'll kill this werewolf real quick. There we go. So, we're good there. And we'll just follow this path. And there's Felix. Okay. I have immediate reasons to be worried along that, but I'm concerned about that. Uh, we need to steal that. Uh, can you bring me some of those time crystals and sundial as she guards that? So we need to head northeast. Okay. So we need to head northeast here. There are many types of potions, some that even increase your movement speed. Okay. So, oh look, it has like little arrows that are kind of pointing us to where we need to go. That's kind of nice. That's very helpful, especially going forward. So we're, here's Vicky. All right, so we got some gold, we got some sandals. 
getting rid of. Tap on the items and hold them for the shortcut button. Okay. Let's view how we do that. Okay, so we use that. Gotcha. When we move over, then we can learn a different spell. Oh, okay, and then we just drag it on our hotbar. That's kind of cool. Okay. So very simple, so we just... Well, first things first, we gotta actually learn the spell. So first things, we're gonna equip that, and equip that. So it looks like we probably don't have any spells yet. But we'll get there one day, because uh, like right now we don't have any spell books. We're good. So let's go dive in and attack these spiders. There we go. Killed another one. Okay. There you go. Okay, and we killed all the guys that we needed to kill. Sweet. And we'll drag that over to the corner now, so there we go. Oh yeah, some of the things that you can do with this is you can actually drag around the UI. That is something very nice, especially for mobile games. I really hate it when the UI is all over the place and like kind of clunky. You can kind of move everything where you want it. So if you want to have like your attack button, for example... If, actually, I think the attack button has to stay in the corner, but if you want to have your spells like like that or something like that okay so after kind of moving around like stuff around and kind of figuring out different things let's actually look at what we got here so we have it looks like a fragment of time crystal and we're just gonna follow the good old thing here so one of the things too you don't have to use the whole wheel thing you can actually just uh, nicely click on everything to get to places so Looks like that's a terrain we can't really pass so what we're gonna do is just kind of walk around we could actually probably follow the path to be honest if we really needed to all right so we've arrived at patch let's talk to him uh, let's see tap the scroll to identify to use it so identifying items so you look at the gloves, you tap that to use it. So you do that to identify a weapon or item. Okay. I like these tutorials. They're so helpful, honestly. Very nice overall. So what we're going to do is we sit here, we use it, and we identify that weapon there, and we equip it. There we go. So we're slowly getting ourselves by. And we'll do that. Now you we'll do that. Sweet. She stands at that. So head southeast. Oh, I forgot to accept it. <laughs> Don't forget to accept your quest, everybody. I've been doing that since World of Warcraft. Uh, so we'll do that, and we'll go over here, and we have now. Let's see, scroll of identifying. That's really cool. And we have a sword, so we'll equip that because I think that's better than the sword we have. So this one is a 6-6, six, six. that's a 9-9, nine, nine. so that's obviously better than that. And we have a scroll of return. So it looks like this is a way to return us back to where we started or where we need to go. So that'll be really great for helping us out. Uh, it's kind of like a hearthstone for some of the people who play other games, it looks like. Uh, so it looks like we're probably going to be killing harpies. There's a lot of harpies here. Alright, so we've arrived at Ambrose. So, let's see, he's at a monument. We lost it. We lost the whole thing here. Alright, so go kill those out there. This is kind of a cool looking building, though. 
But as you can see here, I like the charm of it. It kind of reminds me of like sort of a uh, arcade -y, uh, sort of fighter. So there's those harpies that we were looking for. Let's kill them for our new awesome weapon. Oh wow, we just kicked that guy's butt. And we'll just run over here and beat this guy up. And we'll go over here. Attack that harpy. Yeah. Alright, now we can go turn into Ambrose. Beautiful. Alright, so we, uh, I can live in the end. Uh, let's see. Has these transfer? Okay, so head north, east, or northwest. So, kind of going in a nice little circle here. Let's see if we actually got anything from that. Um, I don't think we got anything crazy from that. Yeah. Oh, we got a ring. There we go. Make sure we equip that. Let's see. So we need to deal. There's an orc. Corner of this path at first. So we gotta do. Let's view this video real quick. You can polymorph different types of monsters using scrolls. Use. Oh. Okay, gotcha. So we can polymorph into animals. So it wasn't what I thought. I thought we were going to polymorph him into an animal, but no, we're actually polymorphing ourselves. Turn you into a monster. That's kind of cool. And we got like a temporary de or temporary buff for that, it looks like. So we need to go kill some owlbears. Owlbears, that sounds scary as heck. <laughs> Oh, they are looking scary. Alright, so we got the Magister. Obviously, we don't need to fight him yet. There is some owlbears. There's an owlbear. And that should be the last owlbear we need. Alright, let's go turn it into this wonderful guy here. Uh, so... Now we just gotta go turn this into this guy here. Nice, okay. Allow me to help you with that. Head north east to my friend Rufus and he will get you where you needed to go. So hotkeys. Let's learn about hotkeys here. Hotkeys are a great way to. There are two types of hotkeys. Next, there's a target button. Swipe left to target that. To target next player. Swipe up to target yourself. You can drag your hotkeys anywhere to your play style. Yep. So like I was showing you guys earlier. Tap the arrows to allow more. You have three sets. Oh, so you can add more hotkeys later on. That's kind of cool. That is interesting. You can preset your UI. Oh my gosh. So you can reset your uh, UI depending on your sides here. You can lock your keys. You can do elf vision, level display, all types of stuff. Okay, that's kind of cool. So. Sadly, it looks like we don't get any spells for a hot bit. It looks, let's see. Yeah, we get that level 50. Yeah. So I guess the knight is kind of like a bad way of showing um, sort of what we can get. Uh, well, it looks like we'll be probably getting, yeah, we don't even get the spell to like level 20. So the knight is, looks like he's just a general basic type of fighter. But still, nonetheless, it's kind of cool. And it looks like our polymorph's probably gonna be dropping pretty soon. 
All right, so we've arrived at Rufus. Let's see what he has to say here. Magic sent you here. That can only mean you need a portal and help. There you go. Now we get to sort of rate the game. Uh, I am going to remain silent for right now. But anyways, guys, that was just a quick look at Teon. I in overall enjoyed this game a lot. Uh, it has a lot of really interesting things that is about it. Now, it's just a quick look. We're probably going to be doing a lot more, but get this mobile game. It's it's free. Like you can download it free. Now, there is obviously some things that you, you can pay for later on and everything, but in general, though, the amount of polish that is in this game is rather uh, fascinating, especially for that. And, like, you have stuff like QI, like, look at this. Boom, boom, boom. Like, that's just insane. Like, I get to customize my UI. Like, that's so cool. And it has, like, three different ways, action bars. Uh, it has all these different other abilities that you have here, and you can just move around. You can target yourself. So you can target the player next to you. Uh, you can target the next target, you can target yourself, that's just, that's so crazy. I, in, in general, I'm, I'm really happy with this game. Uh, I definitely want to do a little bit more coverage of it, because it's, I think the world needs to know more about it. But, anyways, I thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.